What's up, everybody? Keith Mitchell here, and on the eve of CES 2017, I really wanted to talk real quick about an announcement that Liquid Sky is going to be putting out today. They're actually in the middle of the keynote right now, so this video may not come out before the keynote, but it'll just go over some things that they mentioned during the keynote. And if it does get out before the keynote, then more power to me because I beat them to their punch. So, if you're not familiar with Liquid Sky, it's very similar to NVIDIA's GeForce Now or on live they've actually done a better job in my opinion with mitigating the latency issues that you see with most cloud-based gaming services now if you're not familiar with that go check it out i'm not going to sit here and go through the entire explanation of what they actually are because again i just want to talk about what's happening with liquid sky so the very first thing is they're actually offering a brand new plan it's going to be an ad supported free plan so originally you have to pay as you play. You got a certain amount of credits depending on the tier you signed up for. But now they're going to have an ad supported free plan, which basically lets you go playing playing for free while you have access to your games, but you'll have ads in your face. They haven't stated how exactly that's going to work, and they haven't really showed that off yet. But that's actually a pretty cool step, especially for people who either can't afford it or don't want to pay it, but still want to be able to play games, even though they don't have access to a good gaming PC or you're playing on a Mac. That's cool. The second announcement, there's a cu quite a few of those announcements. The second announcement is they're upgrading their the, uh, the current existing plan. So I believe it's Gamer and Pro. They're going to double the GPU. So you're going to have more access to more power. You're going to have access to more memory. You're going to have access to more CPU, which is actually pretty cool because I, I mentioned to those guys before via email, I didn't think the offerings they gave the users were really emulating an actual powerful gaming PC. And I guess a lot of other gamers were saying the same thing because they took it to heart because that's one of their announcements. More bang for the buck. Existing gamer and pro performance plans will double current plans for GPU. The all elite performance plan for the most discerning gamers will add four times the hardware performance previously offered by Liquid Sky's beta. Subscribers can now unleash up to eight gigs of GPU, 32 gigs of RAM, and 12 cores. Now think about that for a second. Eight gigs of gpu vram i believe the titan x the new titan x is 12 i may be incorrect and the 1060 is only six as well and the 1070 is either six as well and the gtx 1080 is eight gigs so you got eight gigs six gigs six gigs and then 12 gigs with titan x pascal if you consider that look at how much money you're paying there at the same time this is going to emulate that that's actually a really great offering but that's a lot of gigs for VRAM, not to mention 32 gigs of RAM and 12 cores, that is ungodly performance. That's really fantastic for people who are checking out this service. They're also announcing they're revamping their dashboard. The original dashboard was okay, but the images that I've seen about the brand new dashboard is actually really cool. The new dashboard is an updated user interface, which gives users access to more features. It looks better and also gives you access to Liquid Sky chat as well as Twitch chat, which is actually a good idea. It's nice to see that they integrated that within the new dashboard because the old dashboard was, wasn't was really cutting it. So I'm liking what I see with the new dashboard. Another big announcement is they'll be able to use USB pass-through, which allows you to use any kind of USB 2.0 and 3.0 for controllers, headsets, and whatnot. Now, they had that before. But it was buggy because, again, it's beta. So they're fully announcing this capability, which is actually pretty cool. The new dashboard is an updated, modernized uh, user interface, which gives users access to more features. It looks better and also gives you access to Liquid Sky chat as well as uh, Twitch chat, which is actually a good idea. It's nice to see that they integrated that within the new dashboard because the old dashboard was, wasn't really cutting it. So I'm liking what I see with the new dashboard. They support Windows. They sort of support Android, Mac, Linux devices. Well, now they're officially announcing that Android, Mac, and Linux devices will be part of this offering. They even offer the APK if you want to download it off the Liquid Sky website for Android. I'm actually going to try and get that running on my Amazon Fire because think of it this way. The Amazon Fire will be the then client. If I can get the APK working on that, I'll be able to play Liquid Sky on any TV in my house. I could take that with me out of my house. When I go to events and conventions, I could take that with me, hook it up in the hotel, and assuming we have enough bandwidth via that hotel or I have to tether it, I can play my games in a hotel room. I could take that anywhere with me, which is actually fantastic. A mobile PC, a mobile gaming device that I can play top-of-the-line PC games. 
assume it, we have the bandwidth. So it's great to see that they're officially announcing support for Android, Mac, and Linux on top of the already offered Windows. And the main announcement here, well, the main addition, the biggest addition that I think, that I feel at least, is complete DirectX 12 support, which means any games in Steam will be able to support DirectX 12 games as well as Windows games. Now, they just simply state Windows 10 PC titles and Windows Story games, which means they're going to support UWP, which is actually pretty cool. I haven't seen this work just yet. They haven't put out any kind of videos regarding this, and it isn't live for beta user as of right now because I just logged in and I can't see it. So I guess we'll have to wait for the update, or maybe they're waiting for the update to be pushed after their major announcement at CES, which I said is happening right now. But that's actually really cool. So to recap this, you're getting a powerful PC performance, like top-of-the-line PC performance, 8 gigs of VRAM, 32 gigs of RAM, and you're getting access to 12 cores. That is fantastic, guys. That's just like the equivalent of having like a, an i7-5820K. That is amazing. Considering that that, G, that CPU was like three dollars $400 now, but when it first came out, it was easily 5 A free plant with ads. Mm, people don't really care too much about ads, but at the same time, if it allows you to play games for free, I'm pretty sure everybody will be able to jump on that train without any issues. I think it's actually a good idea. The revamped dashboard... It's, it's a better UI. And again, I, all I can tell you is stuff that I've seen from images so far. I, I haven't seen it in motion, but I'm pretty sure they'll drop a trailer or something at the end of this. Y- support for USB devices, pretty self-explanatory. That's actually really good. Anything you use, your controllers, your headset, your mice, whatever you will hook up to an actual gaming computer, you're going to be able to support that via uh, Liquid Sky. And of course, again, full Direct X 12 support. Windows UWP, Steam, GOG. EA, whatever DirectX 12 games you have on your PC that you want to play within the cloud or games you want to buy within the cloud will be supported on this new service, which is actually really good. So it's nice to see that Liquid Sky isn't being left behind because before, again, there were a lot of complaints that it was perhaps under power. Like I said, I voiced my concern regarding that, but it looks like they're making good on that doing this announcement through a CES 2017. So hopefully you guys are sticking around and paying attention to that announcement. And if not, at least go to Liquid Sky's website, check out what they have to offer. If they haven't leaked this info or they haven't put out the information yet, but as soon as that announcement is over, as soon as that keynote is over, I'm pretty sure you're going to see that on their website. All right. So once again, guys, this is Keith from the Outer Haven. And if you like what you just heard, be sure to go ahead and give us a subscribe. Go ahead and like the video. And I'm available to talk to you regarding the advancements of Liquid Sky, what I think about it, what I don't like about it. And I'll be doing some hands-on once the announcement is over and they release it to everybody who is subscribed to their service. All right? Thanks for listening. And as always, guys, be safe and take it easy.